Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Claudia and this is officially my first YouTube video. So um, today's video is going to be basically a Q&A. I asked a few of my friends to like send me questions that they want to know, just random questions. And then I'll be reading from my laptop because like it's below me here. So if you notice that I'm looking downwards, it's the questions I'm looking at. So I'll be answering questions at random, not like in any sequence whatsoever. So basically the first question someone asked, or the first question I'll be answering rather is, how old are you? I am 19 years old. Um, second question I'll be answering is, what or how, what or who inspired your YouTube idea? So um, I don't know what year um, particularly, but then, there was this particular youtuber i saw and then she was just like very interesting and like she dished out a lot of educative content and like her content was just very intriguing interesting personality on point so like i just fell in love and i just realized over the years that i most of the time spend more time on youtube than watching the television like i rarely watch television i'm always on YouTube and I realized that okay maybe some other people would want to watch um, my contents how is it like growing up in Abuja growing up in Abuja is very chilled I really love it like no stress like for me personally it's been the best decision my parents made because I still live with my friends yeah I love it it's very easy no trans um, no traffic um i don't know it's just easy to like it's a very good place to raise a family because the people around where i stay particularly i'll speak for myself they are very friendly and i don't know it's fun because there are a lot of places to go to like recreational areas cinemas um eateries like i would try is a very nice place to live in next question i'll be answering is how many siblings do you have i have three siblings or four um i have an elder sister two brothers an elder brother and a younger brother i'm the third after out of four okay the next question i'll be answering is do you feel you found your purpose in life personally i don't feel like i'm like living just to achieve a particular purpose or to achieve a particular thing at each stage in life i have like things and goals i want to achieve so like i focus mostly on the short-term goals although i have a big um dream i have the big picture but then like i focus basically on what i can achieve at this stage in life i don't keep my hopes and like live just to achieve a particular life goal like that's not how i see it i say it as at each stage you do what you want to do you achieve what you can achieve and the next question i'll be answering is what did you want to be when you grew up okay when i was younger what i wanted to be come was a banker um because my mom's younger sister usually comes to visit at times and she was a banker and i felt like it was really cool because of how they dress corporate and i felt banking was a very interesting career choice but i'm not even an art student next question is what are the three things on your bucket list they are actually a lot but then like the top three is obviously to travel the world um to bag my degree obviously and to have a successful youtube channel that is like the basic thing i can think of from the top of my head um the next question i'll be answering is if you could choose any career right now what would it be career if entrepreneurship is a career then basically entrepreneurship there's nothing more i would rather be doing or want to do than being an entrepreneur so yeah that's it when you were a kid, did you think any career choice was out of reach? I honestly never thought any career choice was out of reach. I mean, if you if you put your mind to it, I feel like you can do anything you want to do as so far as you put your mind to it. So no, I did not think any career choice was out of reach as a child. What was your first major you declared in college? Okay, when I was applying to the university, obviously. Not obviously, but then like... A lot of Nigerian students put medicine and surgery. That was the first uh, major I declared when I was going to college, university. So it's medicine and surgery. Am I studying medicine and surgery now? No, I am not. Um. So the next question I'll be answering is, what accomplishment are you most proud of? 
um it's actually a lot there's a lot of accompli accomplishments that i am proud of but then like the ones i want to share are first of starting a business it's honestly a bold step because you don't know how the business is going to do you don't know if it's going to do well you don't know it's just a lot of uncertainties so starting off starting up a business is one of them starting this youtube channel is one of them after a lot of um contemplation rethinking finally did start it um growth generally like i have grown so much compared to where i was last month last year last two years like there's a lot of growth going going on and it's something i'm proud of because it's an accomplishment the next question i'll be answering is which of your friends are you proud of and why i'm proud of all my friends because they are all doing their things and doing well so like i'm proud of them i don't have a particular friend that okay i'm most proud of because of social and so reason so who are my friend you ought to be doing well because like we're all on our a games all my friends are top tier babes and guys so i'm proud of all of them okay this question says if you had to live in a different state what would it be okay mind you i live um in abuja abuja nigeria so if i were to live in a different state what or where would it be i would say lagos but then from what i have heard and like from what i have seen i don't know if i can cope in lagos because the struggle is real so i would say um maybe enugu enugu state yeah i would say enugu state because it's between lagos or um enugu i would like to visit lagos so, but to live there to like live from abuja to live in a different state i would say enugu state okay this question said do you classify yourself as a naughty or nice person i'm a nice person i'm a nice person yes said if you were told you have on if you were told you only had a week to live what would you do okay if i was told i only had a week to live or oh, god forbid first thing i'll do is to book a ticket to dubai that's the first thing i'll do <laughs> i'm just going to start traveling to all the places on my bucket list all the countries i would like to visit try new things just explore more or explore more and you know that's it because like if it's the same real life connection i feel like i have real life connections with like people like my friends like i connect well with them family bonding i bond well with my family so something i'm not currently doing at the moment is traveling a lot traveling to different countries so that's one thing i would do and i'll run away from school so yeah if i wait till i have one week left those are the things i would do okay this question said what would your perfect saturday be like my perfect saturday would be um waking up early i always wake up early i'm a morning person waking up early getting my space organized cooking like a nice i'll have something to eat like a quick meal to eat obviously then cooking like a very nice meal for the day and you know watching youtube that's it and there may be some other days i'll just go out maybe see a movie go get ice cream or something like that but most of the times i'm always indoors because i rather be in the comfort of my own space yeah so the next question i'll be answering is do you think you're ready for marriage as of right now obviously not <laughs> i'm just 19 and i'm not done with school I'm not saying you have to be done with school to get married, but personally, I feel like I want to be done with school. Or I know I want to be done with school before I think about anything relating to marriage. Or at least being in my finals. I'm not seeing close to... Okay, I'm close to my finals, but then, like, I have two more years to go. So, no, I do not think I am ready for marriage. Um, okay, the next question I'll be answering is, what happened to your previous business? And are you planning on starting a new one? Okay, um, for my previous business obviously a lot of you here might not know me personally so i had a business a hair care business but then like 
it was doing well it was doing well um but to run a business it's more to having resources to start up that business you, it, there's a lot of things that go behind it like you need money to promote that business you need money to um run ads you need you, you need money to like own a business you don't you do not just need capital starting capital capital it's a lot running a business and then school like my schooling was not permitting me to do it like it was just a lot honestly and do i have plans to start um a new one i feel like or i know rather along the line we'll all find out but till then i'm just doing youtube what, what is your love language that's the next question i'll be answering my love language is quality time for me i really believe in the saying which is out of sight is out of mind for me if i love you i want to like spend time with you it doesn't even need to be physical at least like over the phone or something of that sort but basically my love language is quality time have you ever cheated on someone you're with no i have not do you have many friends um do i know plenty of people a lot of people yes i do but do i have many friends i would say when i was younger um like secondary school high school whatever you know it as at that time in my life i had a lot of people that i called my friends in quotes but then as i grew or as i have grown it's not the same case i have like fewer friends but then i i know a lot of people yes that's the best way i can answer the question okay the next question i'll be answering is how do you manage your expenses okay this question is very um when i say funny or it's very tricky because like i've not found an exact way to manage my expenses although i've become better like when i started working i feel like you manage your money better when you work for it if that makes sense to you before i started working and and like the money i was spending was given to me by my parents i usually spend like extravagantly like like i really go crazy when i go when i spend but then making my own money it kind of gave me a sense of caution and as much as I, I stopped working but then like i'm just used to it like i'm mindful of how i spend but then like sometimes you just you just want to support yourself and like you before you spend most of the time you just give yourself some pep talk that you only live once all this kind of talk you understand so managing my expenses is something i'm still learning and it's something i'm still working on personally so it's not something i will give you an advice on because like it's something i'm still learning myself if that makes sense to you um the next question i'll be answering is do you have a boyfriend or you would like to be single and focus on yourself first of all being single or being in a relationship doesn't prevent you from focusing on yourself i mean you can focus on yourself while in a relationship so being in a relationship doesn't stop you from um focusing on yourself and being single also doesn't stop you. it it makes no difference honestly like if you are with somebody that is not allowing you to focus on yourself while in a relationship i feel like you should think about it okay the next question i'll be answering is your favorite de designer brand it's obviously Kristen dior if you love her you dior her <laughs> okay the next question i'll be answering is would you call yourself a leader or a follower i would say i'm more of a leader than a follower like i make a good leader yeah so the next question i'll be answering is when you're having a bad day what do you do to make yourself feel better okay what i do to make myself feel better when i'm having a bad day first off i calm down like i just calm down like sit talk to myself i actually do talk to myself like i'll be like okay this is happening and there's nothing you can do about it basically so it's best you redirect your energy the negative energy into something positive something that'll make you happy i do self-care like maybe my skincare i go get myself something nice maybe um wine a drink a snack just something or i call maybe my best friend just to talk about it i'll honestly and uh, maybe in the beginning of the call i'll tell her okay i'm not telling this into brenda means solution i'm just telling you this because i want to rant i want to like tell you something like i want to get it out of my system so i just call somebody to talk to the person self-care 
sleep sleep because it's always like you can't get wrong you can't get it wrong by sleeping yeah that's what i do when i'm having a bad day or having a bad time yeah but most importantly i just talk to myself like and no harsh words honestly because this is something that i've learned over the years having a bad day is not something you intend you intend it's something that just happens naturally like those days are inevitable so like you don't talk down on yourself and like oh you should have done this differently or this is you maybe because of you are so, so, so weird this is that's why this is happening to you or something like that. no you talk to yourself nicely just affirm yourself that it's going to get better that these are just one of those days those days and it only gets better from here that's how i go through mine though okay the next question is which would you which would be harder for you to give up coffee or alcohol i would say coffee i'm not even a coffee drinker like i don't take coffee so it's be really... oh the question is which would be harder for you to give off i would um, alcohol because not because like i'm an alcoholic but because i do not drink coffee like i don't even like it so i'm a coffee drinker so that's the answer the next question is what's your dream job would I say have a dream job I don't think I have a dream job I just know that um, in whatever I do I just want to be happy no matter what I'm working as no matter where I'm working as no matter what I'm doing I just want to be happy I feel like that's like the goal happiness um, this question says where do you see yourself in the next five years in the next five years i see myself being alive <laughs> myself being alive and healthy yeah um this question says who is the kindest person you know the kindest person i know would be my mom because she's so kind selfless and she like she'll go out of her way to make you happy and like do whatever is necessary to be done. I don't know. She's just the happiest, not happy. She's just the nicest person I know personally. I have a lot of nice and kind people in my life, but like the most, the kindest is my mom. Okay, this question is: What's your favorite cheesy pickup line? Hmm. I honestly don't know. I don't have any favorites. Cheesy pickup line. Can't think of anyone at the moment. Next question is What is the right age to get married? I feel like the right age or the right time to get married is whenever you are matured. Obviously, you have to be legal, you have to be above 18 because below 18 you're a minor but then so far as you're above 18 or 18 plus i feel like you can get married as far as you are ready for it you know what it entails you are matured enough you and your partner are ready to make things work i feel like it's not exact age to get married people get married at the age of 19 people get married at the age of 20 27 28 30 there's no in life there's no recipe for life i feel like you just do what makes you happy and do what works for you so yeah, that question is very selective, subjective to each individual. I can't decide for you. The next question is, um, what is the first thing you do when you get home from a trip? Um, it depends on how far the journey was and it depends where the trip was to. Sometimes when I come off from a trip, the first thing I do is to drink water Because most of the time I'm dehydrated and I'm tired and I'm obviously not obviously I am certainly not a travel person like I hate traveling Because I'm travel sick Especially road trips. I don't like road trips. I throw up most of the time not most of the time but then like growing up I usually throw up when I traveled but then I found like an alternative which is a particular medication I was recommended by my doctor so I don't like traveling and I'm always tired when I come back from my trips so the first thing I do most of the time is to drink water so that's the last 
um, question I'll be answering today. And I hope you guys, you all had a nice time watching this video because um, it was not easy, obviously, not easy. And I actually did enjoy filming this video. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure you like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe. Like it doesn't take anything for me to subscribe. Please subscribe and comment, like comment, maybe um, just something that you resonate with, something you find similar, just comment anything. Let's have a conversation in the comment section and I hope to see you in my next um, video. So till then, bye.